Today I'm going to show you how you can change the look of your golf club shafts. What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I have my driver here and it has the amazing Autoflex shaft. It's funny because over the years I've tried so many shafts and seen so few improvements with any of them that I thought, hey, you know what? Shafts are shafts and shaft technology is shaft technology until I found this Autoflex and I love it. It has absolutely changed the game for me on my drives. I still am a little confounded as to how it's doing it, but um, I will definitely continue to use this shaft. Now, the problem with this shaft is that it comes in hot pink. Now, I love hot pink as much as the next guy, which is to say I don't like hot pink. It's so bright. It takes this stealthy, good-looking club and makes it look like a pink Cadillac. So, I mean, this is not a subtle pink. This is, this is a serious hot, hot pink. Anyway, I was tempted to just kind of spray paint over it. And then I was like, oh man, I don't know if it's going to chip off. And do you have to sand it and prime it? You know, get a good tack on there or something like that. But then I found this company and it's called Shaft Wrap. So someone else has already thought about this and they sell decals that you can get in a lot of different styles. You can actually custom make them, although I think you do have to order like a minimum of 10 or 12 if you custom design your own, which is a little disappointing because it'd be cool to upload your own design, have them print it out and send it to you. I actually wouldn't even mind if they charged you twice as much for the custom, but minimum order quantities on that. But they do come in a variety of different styles, solid colors, so you get most of your standard solid colors. They do come in like some patriotic and team colors, so you can find usually the colors that represent your school or your professional sports team. They also come in kind of these exotic patterns, and this one is the gray camo. Now, what's actually interesting about this is that the pattern is much tighter than I kind of expected. And in terms of gray, it definitely skews more light gray. I was hoping maybe there'd be a little more dark gray, but because everything about this is kind of matte, I thought I would hide the hot pink with camo. I thought about getting black or something too, but I thought, you know what? Why not embrace a little spice on here? I'm a spicy guy. Show it off a little bit. Maybe even have people ask. Now what you get here is four feet of decal. And as far as I can tell, it really seems like it's the same kind of material that you would get to put a decal on your phone or tablet or computer. You know, it's that 3M material and it's just printed. It's kind of got a glossy, shiny finish to it. And there were a couple things that I was wondering about this. One, would it be long enough to cover the entire shaft? Absolutely. And so you can definitely go from hosel to grip on it. And in fact, in most cases, what they suggest is that you take the grip here and roll it up a little bit, put that decal down and then roll the edge of the grip back down. Because I'm using these dry tack, you know, PU types of grips, that's not going to be easy to do. So I'll probably trim with a razor blade if I really need to. But you will have enough to do your entire shaft from uh, stem to stern. Now, I am actually not gonna use this whole thing. You can actually trim it before you put it on, but I'm actually gonna use it just to cover up the pink itself and maybe throw on a little bit onto another shaft. The other thing I will show you here is that you might be able to see that it has some information printed on there, but that's actually not on the wrap itself. You might be able to see there's a little kiss cut that is probably half an inch in board of the edge here. So it does bleed, you can see that. And so one of the things I was thinking is, is the top thicker than the bottom? And I can tell you that it is. So at the top here, what I can tell you is I get a much thicker piece than the bottom. And that's good because the shaft is a little bit tapered. I wasn't sure if there was gonna be a lot of overlap. My hope is that this is kind of built for the diameter of most shafts. And so you're not gonna have a lot of overlap. Obviously where it does overlap, you know, you're gonna have a little bit of a raised edge so i'm going to try to hide that on the back of the shaft kind of facing down so i am going to kind of center it with the top portion of the shaft centered and then i'm going to put it on so first of all i'm just going to trim with scissors to the length that i want here and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to remove the piece of the shaft wrap that i want to use and i am going to line it up like i said in the middle with my toe pointing straight up here and then put it down flatten it down kind of going back and forth to make sure I don't get any air bubbles in here and then I'll finish up on this side by just working it back and forth all the way around you can see that I'll have a little overlap there so yes you'll have a little bit of a ridge but it's not anywhere where you're grabbing it so you won't necessarily feel it and i do like the fact that this is removable and reversible in case you don't like the design or comes apart and there it is goes on pretty nicely you might have a little bit of crinkling you know in some areas where 
it's just tapering too aggressively but like i said i don't mind that but what's really cool about this is now you actually have some protection on your shaft too for a lot of golf club head covers they used to have like a sock neck that would go down the shaft but a lot of those don't exist anymore a lot of people are just using like these leather covers and they don't go down very far and so your irons can hit your shaft bang up your shaft scuff it up whatever and one it looks bad but two can also compromise the integrity of the shaft so you don't want to do that so just adding something like this might keep it a little cooler maybe add your own little flare to it looks pretty good looks different than a lot of other people and so i've seen also guys switch shafts just because they get it beat up a little bit so if you have a shaft that you like that is working just fine that you just want to refresh you can pick up these two hey shaft wraps is a cheap and convenient way of dressing them up if you want to pick up a shaft wrap i'll put a link to it in the description below peter von panda out